Hello and welcome to Backyard Brewery video number two. Today we're making a growler washer using similar components we used in the first video to make a carboy washer. We're using a small pond pump and an eighth inch piece of rigid plastic line, a water container basically just for uh, a description of how it works here. And what we'll do is we'll take the plastic, hard plastic piece of pipe, we'll drill 1 16th holes into the pipe, and then we'll have the um, entire unit, because it's a submergible pump, submergible pump, fit into the water supply. And then we'll be able to show graphically how this thing works on our carboys. Now I've used two different pieces of plastic, one a little longer than the other, so I can use both the full-size carboy, which I'm sorry, growler, which we'll see here, and then the smaller liter or half pint um, growlers can be cleaned also. Obviously this one's got a, a good example of how it all works, and you can um, see graphically how it is. Simply this would work when you use soapy water and obviously having a second container to uh, have rinse water. Now from there we're going to go to showing you how we've harvested our yeast from the previous beer batch I had. And I keep that in the cooler so it will uh, stay dormant. And then um, you'll see here as I've used the beaker and some uh, malt extract that's been boiled to reactivate the yeast. Now this is something you can use to uh, use as a yeast starter for your beer batch and you'll see certainly whether or not it's working correctly because it has the um, CO2 making bubbles in the airlock. So anyway that'll do it for this video and next video we'll do something more uh, along the lines of making beer. Thanks for watching.